What is up everybody? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we are doing a tier list of the FNAF plushies. I've seen a few of these videos go online and I thought I'd do my own. We don't have the balloon circus wave because this was actually made a few months back before they were made. But if I did have the balloon circus wave, um, to be fair I'd probably put them all in there. Maybe some in bad because they're not really that good in my opinion. But anyways, yeah, we are going to be ranking all the FNAF plushies you see on screen right now. Um, yeah, shout out to the person who I got this tier list from. You are an amazing dude. Um, yeah, I'll make sure to leave your name in the description. Alright, starting off with Freddy Fazbear himself. Now I'm just gonna put him... Oh, never mind. Right, Freddy. Well, hang on. I'm just gonna put him there for now. I'm not... He isn't bad, right? Just till I go... Right. Uh, I think Freddy would be good. Freddy's a good plushie. He's not the best, but he is great, because he's just, oh, I mean, good. But yeah, he's really good. Um, there's a link to the new version in the description. Anyways, so yeah, he's a good plushie. Moving on to Bonnie, I'll put them all in D at first so I can, just so I can swipe up to the top. Bonnie, in my opinion, is a great plushie. In my opinion, Bonnie's better than Freddy. Hang on, let me just, can I? Wait one minute, I'm trying to get... There we go, right. Bonnie is better than Freddy in my opinion. I just I just think he's the better plushie. So yeah. Moving on with Chica. Everyone always hates on Chica for some reason. I don't know why. Chica's actually a pretty good plushie. I'm going to put her with Freddy. I don't know why everyone hates on Chica. I don't see what's wrong with her. Yeah, sure, her eyebrows maybe. Her head's a bit out of shape. But that doesn't matter. Alright. Moving on to Foxy. Uh, Foxy is actually one of the better um, plushies in this. I actually think Foxy is um, even better than Bonnie. Foxy is even better than Bonnie in my opinion. Foxy is the best out of wave one. And now with... <laughs> what even is... You know what, I'm just going to keep her in that. Because I, I just... What is Toy Foxy? Toy Foxy isn't even a real character, so I'm just going to keep Toy Foxy there. Now, now on to the exclusives. Golden Freddy. Everyone always says he's, like, the best, but do you know what? I'm going to put him with them. He is just a recolored Freddy, but he's slightly better than... Do you know what? Yeah, he's slightly better than, than classic Freddy, in my opinion. I don't know what it is about him. He's just better. Alright, and now, moving on to wave 2. Oh wait, hang on, I forgot. Um, I need to do, I need to find Toy Freddy, I forgot he's, um, also an exclusive. Alright, if I can find him. Oh yeah, and we've also got the jump scare plushies. Wait, oh, there he is. We've also got the jump scare plushies. Um, yeah, I have the Freddy jump scare plushie, you'll know from the Pokemon squad. And he is the most accurate Freddy plush, I think. Right, Toy Freddy. He's just a recolored Freddy. I'm gonna put him in meh. I don't know why. His colour's too dark. Toy Freddy in the game is like a tan, but this one's even darker than normal Freddy. Alright, I think that's all from wave one. Let's get on to wave two. Alright, starting off with Nightmare Freddy. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to put him in D. He's not as good he's not as bad as Toy Foxy, but I mean, just look at this. This looks nothing like Nightmare Freddy. Now on to uh, Nightmare Bonnie. Actually, a huge upgrade. Um, I'm going to actually just put him in there. He is a, definitely a huge upgrade. Now, Nightmare Foxy. This thing is incredible. Uh, we're going to put him in good, because I think he is good. This wave was definitely a downgrade. Um, now, let's move on to Nightmare Cupcake. I actually like Nightmare Cupcake. I think Nightmare Cupcake is one of my favourite plushies. So we're going to put Nightmare Cupcake up there. And um, moving on to the toy animatronics. There's nothing I need to say. This thing is the worst FNAF plushie I think I've ever seen. Moving on to Toy Chica. I think Toy Chica is um, pretty good. She's a good plushie. I'm not saying that, um, but yeah, 
I'm not saying she's a great plushie, but she's a good plushie. I like how they give gave her custom feet, unlike this chica here. But yeah, she's a pretty good plushie. The only thing that annoys me is her eyes are inaccurate. But aside from that, that's literally it. Moving on to Balloon Boy. Oh wait, hang on, no, Balloon Boy isn't in this wave. Um, moving on to um, the puppet. What what do I need to say? The puppet is a great plushie. The puppet needs to go in the A tier. The A tier is it's just he's it, the puppet's just incredible. There is no S tier for this. I, I think this is meant to be S tier, but um, we're not going to include an S tier. A tier is the highest. All right. Now moving on to Springtrap. He looks a bit lopsided. I think Tie Dye Springtrap is more accurate in my opinion. We're just going to put him in there. He's not a bad plushie. He's just a questionable that's that's probably the best way to explain it now that we have finished wave two moving on to wave three which in i think it's the sister location wave. all right starting off with baby baby in my opinion is a great plushie we're gonna put her up here i don't know what it is she just looks so cool all right the only thing that annoys me is her, that she has orange hair when in the game she has red hair which is a minor inconvenience with, like, every single person that does a Circus Baby render. They always give her orange hair. But Laura, come on, that is bad. This thing is the worst thing I've ever... Moving on to Funtime Freddy. Funtime Freddy is a meh plushie. He's not a bad plushie, in my opinion. I love his bonbon. His bonbon is incredible. Um, His face is just... He looks very concerned. And now... Damn it. How did they screw him up so bad? He is... He's not hes not as bad as Ballora. I'm going to put him in just D bad tier. He's... What, just... Why? Good Stuff actually made a better plushie than him. Somehow. And, but, and Good Stuff is bad stuff. Now, uh, moving on to Funtime Foxy. Funtime Foxy is a pretty good plushie. I'll put Funtime Foxy in meh for now. And now moving on to Lolbit. Lolbit is sl is a slight downgrade in my opinion. Actually, do you not know? We'll we'll um we'll put Lolbit um over there. I like Lolbit's color schemes a whole lot better. Funtime Foxy can go into bad tier because I I just the face looks so off. All right, and now we've got exotic butters. What can I say? I just love I just love exotic butters in good tier. Good tier, not great tier. Now, Bon Bon. <clears throat> bon Bon, oh, sorry. Sorry, guys, that was an accident. Bon Bon is a great plush. Uh, actually, do you not know? I'll just put Bon Bon in meh. Bon Bon is, I mean, Bonnet, Bonnet, sorry, Bonnet. Why didn't they make a Bon Bon plush? Anyways, moving on to wave four. The, um, what's it called? Yeah, the black lights. Alright, we are starting off with blue and yellow and pink Freddy. Um, <clears throat> this wave was a huge downgrade. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to put this wave in meh. I don't, I just don't like this wave. I, I just, they used literally three Foxies and two Freddies. They couldn't, like, use, like, someone else, like Chica, maybe, Foxy. Actually, no, they did too many Foxies. Alright. But uh, I'm just gonna. So, alright. I actually think Lemon Lime Foxy, that's what I call him, is the is the best plushie out of this wave. I'll put him in good. Now, I'm sorry, I just hate the colour schemes on this. And, yeah, I'm just gonna keep. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, this is just like. I actually think this one is the same tier as the other Freddy. I'm sorry. And now, um, the cupcake is a good one. I'm gonna put it in there. Hang on, wait one minute, guys. We're going to have to improvise now. By, and by that I mean... <clears throat> no, mom. no, sorry. Right. Guys, we're gonna have to improvise now because this tea is getting big. Hope you are enjoying the video so far, this will be a long one. Now Balloon Boy. Balloon Boy came out like not that long ago. Um, well, came out not that long ago since these things came out. 
I'm gonna keep Balloon Boy in Meh tier. Balloon Boy is just, eh, not, not the best. Moving on to the Pizzeria Simulated Wii. Oh wait, quickly, I forgot to rank him. Um, I forgot to rank the Cupcake and I forgot to rank Shadow Freddy. They came out in the first wave, I forgot to rank them. Uh, Cupcake was a good plushie, I'm gonna put it in good and and Shadow Freddy is one of the best plushies in my opinion. Alright, you can go there. Right, there we go. Sorry. Right, moving on to Pizzeria Simulator. Alright. This wave was probably the biggest plushie wave we got, but it was just like, it had an opportunity to be so much more. Starting off with Happy Frog, I, I just, there's something missing with Happy Frog that makes her just, I'm just gonna put her in there. Pork, I'm sorry, but what's that head shape? That head shape looks nothing like him. I'm gonna put him in a bad tier. I'm so sorry. Lefty, definitely the best plushie out uh, of this wave, in my opinion. He is a great plushie. I love Lefty. Now, uh, Helpy. Helpy is, again, one of the, the stuff, the good stuff that came out this wave. He's just gonna go, he's just gonna sit in good. Did I accidentally... Wait, wait, where did left... Okay, here we go. Right, I'm just going to put him in good. Uh, he was a good one, not as good as lefty in my opinion. Candy... Ke... I'm serious. Like... What? Are you s serious? This is the worst plush you came out of this wave. L-Chip. Yes, 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 yes. I love L-Chip. He is my favourite character out of all of Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, wait, wait, where did he go? Wait, wait, where did, okay, there we go. He is definitely in great. Okay, moving on to, let's go with Mr. Hippo. I think Mr. Hippo might be the most accurate plush, and for that, he gets good. Well done. Alright, now on to Orville Elephant. He looks a bit overstuffed, in my opinion. He looks a bit too fat. I'm just going to put him in meh. Um, Rockstar Foxy. This is a million times better because he actually came with a parrot, like Funtime Freddy came with Bonbon. So we're gonna put him in good. <clears throat> Sorry guys. Uh, now moving on to Rockstar Freddy himself, the main star of the show. He was a good plushie. Um, I'm just gonna put him in good. Um, he was definitely a good plushie. Alright. Now on to the exclusives. This wasn't from the Pizzeria Sim Wave, and it wasn't an exclusive, I don't think. But um, we're just gonna rank Spring Bonnie. We didn't get a Fredbear plush. The closest one to a Fredbear plush was Golden Freddy. But, and I definitely think that um, I definitely think that Spring Bonnie is one of the best plushies in my opinion. All right, moving on to the twisted one. Alright, starting off with Theodore. Theodore, in my opinion, is a great plush. We're gonna put Theodore in good, because Theodore just looks incredible. Now, on to Twisted Bonnie. He got screwed up. I'm gonna put him in bad. Now, on to... I'm sorry, but what am I looking at here? <sighs> He's better but i'm just gonna put him in meh now this whole wave was just a big mistake he he can stay in atrocious take that back he's going up there but he, what is this why is his face so flat on to um, yeah you can just stay there and now on to Okay, can you stop giving me bad plush? Oh yeah, and I also forgot to review Nightmare Mangle from, uh, I think it was the second wave. She's just gonna sit in meh, to be honest. Now, on to, um, what wave comes after this? I think it's like the, that, like, the weird colour wave. We're just gonna do that. Alright, starting off with, um, 
this Freddy. He actually looks pretty, 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 pretty good in my opinion. So we're gonna put him in good tier. What was that sound? All right, now onto the Foxy in this wave. Uh, it's just Foxy. We're gonna put him in bad. Cupcake, uh, definitely an upgrade. Okay, can can I? Okay, right. <laughs> my my keep my phone's bugging up, guys. Right, he he can go in the mat here. Um, we're gonna put this foxy in bed. I just hate the color scheme on it. Um, for some reason I've got two of these black light foxies. And the pen. I hate the color scheme for this one. Alright, and then on to the last one. And no, that's not the... No, no. Um, this plushie was... Um, well, I can put the jumbo one in bad. I just don't like the jumbo plushies. Now moving on to... Um, I actually don't know what wave came next. So we're just going to review the jumps. That was an accident, guys. But... Now we are going to review the jump scare plushies, okay? The, these these giant beast of a babies. All right, these giant jump scare plushies. Freddy has to go in. It has to go in A tier. Freddy is the best one. He's. I think he's the most accurate Freddy plushie I've that they that they've made, in my opinion. He just looks so accurate. And Foxy. He's going in good tier. He's not as accurate or as good as Freddy, in my opinion. And I'm not saying that because I have the Freddy. But, yeah, he, he can go into good tier. Right, now we're just going to review the waves in my own order. Because I seriously don't know what came next after this. We are going to review the Security Breach wave. And then the AR wave. And then the Curse of Dreadbear wave. Let's do this. Alright. Uh, we're going to go in the order of what it's been set as. Glamrock Chica, she just... Meh. Okay, just just a meh. Glamrock Freddy, I'm sorry, but that bottom jaw gives you a bad. Uh, Roxanne is a awful plushie. And why? Why? How did they, how did they screw him up? He's going in meh. Vanny... Sorry, but Vanny's atrocious. I definitely had high hopes for Vanny, but she just does not look good. Now on to the black light um, ones. These ones are just all going in, in bad, okay? I'm sorry, but these ones are just, they're just three colours. I don't like them. There we go, right. Now we've gone to the AR wave. This one will be giant. Alright, starting off with Freddy Frostbear. Oh my goodness. Great plushie. This is one. This is definitely a great plushie. Wait one moment, guys. Sorry. Right. Oh my goodness, this is the best plushie I think I've seen in a while. After going through some really bad plushies, it's nice to come to AR and be pretty surprised. It's pretty good. All right. Now. Now. Oh wait. Wait. What happened? Okay. Right. Right. Sorry, guys. That was nice. <laughs> Moving on to Chocolate Bonnie. Um, Chocolate Bonnie, Sutton, oh, sorry guys, that was an accident again. Accidents happen. As a wise man once said, accidents happen. Right, Chocolate Bonnie kind of looks a bit wonky in my opinion. Uh, he's not a bad plushie. He's gonna go in meh for now. He's still good, but I, I don't know why. He just, he's good, but he doesn't feel like he deserves a good tier. I'm not reviewing any of the jumbo ones, even though they're in the tier list. I uh, just want to let you know, so this video isn't like two hours long. Um, now on to color inverted sister Meritoy Bonnie, mouthful of a name, pretty bad plushie. I'm sorry. And now on to high score toy chica again, mouthful of a name, but not as bad as color inverted high score toy chica. Um, this this one just doesn't work in my opinion. And this one is definitely an upgrade. Color inverted high score toy chica. You can go there. In bad tier. Even though you're better, but now, um color inverted radioactive foxy. Uh I actually like him a whole lot better. I think his colour schemes just fit a whole lot better. He's going in there. 
And um, uh, Radioactive Foxy is a good plushie. We're just going to put him there. Now, Color Inverted VR Toy Freddy. I think this one might be... Um, yeah, I just don't like it. Now, on the other hand, VR Toy Freddy, not the Color Inverted one. VR Toy Freddy is a great one. We're just going to put VR Toy Freddy in good. Um, yeah, I, I just like VR Toy Freddy. Now, System Era Toy Bonnie. Um, definitely an upgrade, Def definitely an upgrade, we'll put, we'll put him there. Oh, oh, sorry guys, I keep scrolling down all the way, when I hold on the screen it zooms down. Now, um, I, I call him Attack Mode Toy Freddy. Attack Mode Toy Freddy, he is definitely a downgrade, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna have to put him in bed. Now, Liberty Chica, Liberty Chica, oh my goodness, incredible, right. Liberty Chica is a great plushie. Not not worthy of great tier, in my opinion. Shouldn't be worthy of great tier, but still a good plushie, nonetheless. So we're going to put her in good tier. One moment, guys. Sorry, technical difficulties. I'm having technical difficulties. Alright, there we go. Now, time for... Shamrock Freddy! Shamrock Freddy is a great plushie. Shamrock Freddy definitely is a good plushie. I just love the colour schemes. Uh, we don't have the um, Balloon Circus Wave or the Firework Freddy or the, um, what's that other plushie that got announced? Um, oh yeah, all the Sun and Moon ones. Sun and Moon are, S are definitely A tier plushies. I need the Moon plushie. The Moon plushie is my favourite plushie. Funko's ever made. I need it now. Alright, moving on to Chocolate Freddy. Chocolate Freddy is, um, good. I'll just say, I'll just go, uh, you can go in, you can, you're, you're worthy of meh. You're worthy of meh. Not of, not of good, but of meh. Alright, moving on to, we're just gonna do Shadow BB. I don't like Shadow BB. Now, uh, wait, did we actually get through all the ARs? Oh my goodness, we actually got through the AR wave. Oh yeah, we also forgot to review the um, Jack in the Box puppet from um, the Pizzeria Simulator. Jack in the Box puppet is a meh plushie. Alright, now, moving on to Curse of Dreadbear. Okay, starting off with Jacko Bonnie. You're kidding, Jacko Bonnie is the worst plushie. Dreadbear himself. Dreadbear is a great plushie. Unlike Jacko Barney, Dreadbear definitely had a better design model. Alright, let's put Dreadbear up in good tier. Alright, moving on to Pirate Foxy. I think he's called Pirate Foxy? Oh no, he's called Captain Foxy. Pirate or Captain Foxy? Right, let me just get back to him. Right. Um, Captain Foxy, or Pirate Foxy, whatever you want to call him, uh, I definitely prefer Captain Foxy. He is a meh plushie. Not the best. I, I don't like Captain Foxy that much, he just doesn't fit me. Now, Jacko Chica is definitely the worst plushie. The only time we've ever seen a Nightmare Chica plushie. And, again, like, Jacko Foxy... Jacko Foxy doesn't even exist. Now... Um, you know how there's, um, Freddles, Nightmare Freddy and his Freddles? Um, I call the ti- I call the, um, exclusive Tiny Dreadbears, Dreadbear and his Dreadles. I know. These are, t these are smaller plushies. These are the smallest plushies we ever have gotten. And, um, th there's nothing to say about them. They're really bad, in my opinion. Oh yeah, we forgot to review, sh um, Shadow, I mean, um, <laughs> Phantom Foxy. He's not good, okay? He's not good. Now moving on to the tie-dye wave. Alright, starting off with tie-dye Freddy. This wave, in my opinion, is um, really good. So we're going to put... Um, we're going to put... Um, I think he's the worst out of the tie-dyes. Now moving on to tie-dye Chica. Tie-dye Chica is great colour scheme. Tie-dye Chica definitely has the best colour scheme. Uh, we're going, where did I put her? Uh, um, wait, where, where did I? Where is she? Where's the chicken? Right, let's play a game of find the chicken. Where did, where did she go? Where did I 
Wait, what did I actually put? <laughs> uh, oh yeah, that she's right. Um, definitely an upgrade. She can go in good tier. All right, you are a good tier chicken. Um, now on to tie dye Bonnie. He doesn't really. His color scheme might be the worst, but tie dye Freddy just was awful. Um, he wasn't. He's. He, I'm just gonna put him in there because like his color scheme looks just like normal Bonnie. I just don't think Freddy and Purple surprisingly goes well. Uh, aside from like Fredbear and that, but any but like. I mean, like, I don't think fur. Top hats, um, purple top hats on Freddy are good, but fur-wise, no, not really. Uh, tie-dye spring trap. Definitely better, miles better, than the, um, than the spring trap plushie himself. Uh, we're going to put him in a great plushie. If, if this was what normal spring trap looked like. Now, tie-dye mangle. This is mangle, right? Mangle or foxy. Tie dye mangle. I'm just gonna call her mangle. Tie dye mangle can go in. I don't know. Uh, she was pretty mid in my opinion. She'll go meh with the others. However, tie dye foxy, great one. I just love tie dye foxy. He's got his hook. He's got basically everything a tie dye foxy could need. Sorry, he is going in good tier with Chica. Now. Um, we are actually going to do the, um, we've got some, for some reason, I know it looks like we've got a lot, but for some reason there's doubles in this. I've already reviewed some of them, but for some reason there's like 8,000 of them in here that I've already reviewed. So we're going to go on to the Candy, the Five Nights at Candy's, um, fan vs plushies. Because these ones are good. And then we're going to do the standing nightmare ones. And then that's literally us done. Alright. Um, th these ones are all god tier <laughs> plushies. In my opinion. Like these are all great. Hang on let me just. um Do this. And let's go down here to. um This. Let's pick these ones up. Because these ones are definitely not bad plushies. These ones are some of the best plushies we've ever done. And these aren't even based off Five Nights at Freddy's characters. So, um, these, all, all these plushies are just great. Um, let me just pick them up. And this will be a while, me doing this. Alright. And now, let's do this. Alright, I'll see you once 